Hi, in this short video, we will discuss concept of agreement, portmanteau morph, and verb agreement in Hindi and English language. First, what is agreement? Agreement takes place when one word is inflected to match certain grammatical properties of another word. For example, in English, he walks, she walks. In both sentences, which word inflects? Yes, walk. It becomes walks. Let's analyze the suffix s. The suffix s tells us that subject is third person singular. The suffix s tells us that action is in present tense. The suffix s also tells us that action is habitual. The suffix s has more than one grammatical function. When a morpheme presents two or more underlying morpheme, it is known as portmanteau morph. So the English verb inflects for number, person and tense, but gender is marked on pronoun exclusively. Now let's see agreement in Hindi language. Consider these examples. Vah chalta hai and vah chalti hai. The verb chal meaning walk inflects in both sentences. Let's analyze a in sentence 1 and e in sentence 2. The suffix a in 1 tells us that the subject is third person singular masculine. Whereas the suffix e in second sentence tells us that subject is third person singular feminine. Also, it informs that the tense is present and the aspect is habitual. In English, we have seen that verb is not marked for gender, but in Hindi, verb is also marked for gender. Till now, uh, we have seen examples of English and Hindi where tense is present and verb is intransitive. And there is an agreement between subject and verb. In English, the verb inflects for number, person and tense, whereas in Hindi, the verb inflects for number, person, tense and gender. It would be interesting to know how agreement will happen in transitive verb and in the past tense. In the next video, we will look at agreement in past tense with transitive verb. Thank you for watching.